Huge. Didn't hear that. We'll see what winds up happening tonight. But Stephen A, we mentioned CJ McCollum. You brought him up. They were 10 games under 500 when they got him. They were game over 500 with him. When you watch CJ McCollum and what he's done in New Orleans, what comes to your mind? Makes me think about the Philadelphia 76ers mm -hmm. and why Daryl Morey uh, should be under the gun right now. The Philadelphia 76ers had an opportunity mm -hmm. to send Ben Simmons to Portland for CJ McCollum and Robert Covington. Now, looking at the way James Harden has looked thus far, are you trying to tell me the veteran that is C.J. McCollum, what he's capable of giving you with his perimeter shooting, the imagination that you could utilize to, to fantasize about him paired with Joel Embiid, that was something to sneeze at? I dare say that if it was someone other than Daryl Morey, a DM, almost any other GM, would have strongly considered that. But Daryl Morey obviously had his eyes on a prize that was James Harden, and that compromised him. That's what I think about. Would they be better off, Jalen, with the Sixers today be better off if they'd made that trade instead of the Harden trade? Today, I can't say they would be better off, and here's why. Because if you're Philly, you're trying to put the Avengers together. They thought they were getting the best GM in Mari, the best coach in Doc, they have an MVP in Joel, and you thought you were bringing over a superstar in James Harden. Now, CJ and Covington have been more productive but you bring in James Harden, Stephen A, to be box office. And that's why when these playoffs start, we're going to see what James Harden is actually made of, Michael Wilbon. Michael. Yep. Jalen, you're 100% right. This, the answer to this is result-based. Is James Harden going to be the guy that we saw a couple of years ago or even the first few games that he played with Embiid, or is it going to be the James Harden we've seen the last three weeks? That will entirely determine whether Philly – is moving on in the Eastern Conference. And look, I, at this point, I'm not well, sure they could beat Toronto. I may favor Toronto in that series. Or are they going to be trying to reconfigure once again? Because if Harden doesn't get this done, you are looking at Maxi, you're looking at the ensemble, Seth Curry, you're looking at all these other guys who have to make up for some inadequate okay. performance of James Harden unless he comes through late in the playoffs for the first time in his career. All right, maybe you're a little bit hazy and all oh, because you got bit by the coyote was wrong. and you haven't fully was recovered wrong. from it, okay? But the fact of the matter wrong. is, you and Jalen were talking about the 76 There was one person up here <laughs> cautioning y'all about what the hell was going to happen. And it happens to be me. And it happened to be right. I know. And the fact of the matter is this. We can also go by what we have seen from C.J. McCullum. You can't sit here and rave about C.J. one minute and then feel like, oh, excuse me, well, let's see what James Harden does. James Harden has to step up. He's holding the Sixers' title hopes in the palm of his hands and some jobs, by the way. But when you're about to trade James Harden on paper, you're saying we're about to get a top 20, top 25 player in return. And though C.J. McCollum is a 25-point-per-game scorer, people wouldn't have thought on paper they'd gotten enough in return. But let me tell you something you're going to get from C.J. McCollum that ain't on the stat sheet. Professionalism. See, he's going to show up and actually give you those points and give you Amen. that professionalism right. that you can rely on. I told you, none of us disagree with that at all. But here's my problem, and I'm going to go to Jalen Greeny with this. It, 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 listen, you played this game. You know this game backwards and forwards. I understand C.J. isn't James Harden from years ago. But, I mean, damn, if he can give you 25 a game, why does he have to be? Why does he need to be when you have a Joel Embiid? Maybe we should be looking at how teams evaluate players and what their needs are because a lot of these guys are missing it. Damn it, I might think about becoming president of basketball operations in the future. But right. you, you would think that Maxi and CJ kind of complement each other, and you think James Harden would be the game changer to take you to another level. Let's see if he can do that in this year's Let's playoffs because I know you worked at Philly a long time. That's right. And you're going to hold him accountable. Let's see if she Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.